From ancient times to modern times, humans have relied on, respected, and worshipped stones. Castle walls, altars, statues of gods, temples, things that we want to preserve forever have been made of stone. People die and their bodies return to the earth. Family members and friends collect the bones of the deceased, bury them in the ground, and erect a heavy stone monument above them. When visiting a grave, the stone is worshipped as if it belonged to the deceased. Yo loved composing poems in nature and spending time with friends. He was deeply moved by the loss of memories of the great people of the past. This mountain has existed since the beginning of the universe, but the memories of many great people have been lost. After Yo passed away, the locals erected a monument on the mountain to perpetuate his memory. This monument later became known as the Monument of Fallen Tears. His virtues will be forever engraved on this monument, he was truly a wonderful person. Do you inscribed his accomplishments on stone monuments, had copies made, and had one buried in the mountain and the other in the depths of the Han River. He hoped that one of the monuments would remain for future generations. Even if some natural disaster occurs, my name will remain for posterity. In later times, a poet named Meng Haoren appeared and visited this monument with his disciples, commemorating the virtues of the sheep and reciting a moving poem. When you touch this monument, you can feel the virtue of the sheep. Li Bai also visited this place and was moved by the ephemerality of the monument. The way the monument became covered with moss and deteriorated over time seemed to symbolize the fragility of life. Will this monument also deteriorate over time and be forgotten? Stone withstands the elements, but words carved into literature remain forever. Although the sheep monument was severely damaged 272 years later, his virtues are still recorded in the Wenxian and the Book of Jin. Although Du Ju's monument has also been lost, his works are still read.